All the framing of our new fake ceiling done to help our plants to die finish off the walls nicely. And it turned out well. Even level all over through the house. The built-in toilet reservoir. Welcome back to Arcadia. It's been a week, last week. We had a week off because I was busy cutting my hair. Actually, last week was just a bit of chaotic because after we were done with all the plumbing, the plan was that the plaster guy was going to continue with the bathroom. So I figured I need to get on with it, get all the framing of our new fake ceiling done, get our new toilet installed and pack it up nicely with drywall so that we could continue putting tile on the wall and the floor plaster the ceiling because our plaster guy was gonna do this originally after he was done with the walls but turns out choosing tile is a rather difficult activity so change the plan instead I decided to help our plaster guy It's a rather slippery pencil How did, how did I do this? Under the glasses, up on the ear Whatever In the pocket it is Instead I decided to help our plaster guy Finish up the walls nicely. So I climbed on the ladder, took my lamp, and went all over the ceiling and the walls to look for imperfections. I marked them all, like this one, with my pencil that I tend to drop a lot. And the guy went all over it, sending down any of the imperfections that may have been left. Afterwards, I went again with my lamp, found a couple more. I just held a piece of sandpaper in my hand and I did it myself. So that took up quite a bit of my time. Some of the more intricate parts were these edges around the windows. There's a profile in it. It resulted in the mesh being exposed when he sanded it a little bit too much. So, actually in a lot of places it appeared, so I asked the guy to replaster those bits and then just lightly sand it and it turned out well. And then, it was time to make a mess. The plan was to create an even level all over through the house. I did the math and it added up to about 75 bags of 25 kilo of this stuff that would end up costing around 8 or 900 euro. So that made me think, is this worth it? Is this worth the investment? Because frankly the difference in height is not really that much. Only here in the kitchen we have this 2.5 centimeter, but over here from the entrance it's only one centimeter and to the other room also just one centimeter. So we decided not to go through with it 
I still went, to get, and went ahead and bought a couple of those bags, nine in total, because I calculated to create an even level to this new room. We would need about eight bags. I dropped the bag of motor into the top with water. So I'm gonna have to clean it up sometime. In between all those activities, I made the framing for a new ceiling in the bathroom. I installed the built-in toilet reservoir. It took me two days because I was missing some pieces. Then I framed up all the way around it. Earlier this week, I put on the drywall ceiling and boxed up a new toilet. And this little nook where our pipes are going upstairs. It's that easy sometimes. Well, it's a bit snowy outside. Let's quickly show you one of my side projects of last week. I built something for the poor shepherd doggers. Check it out. Look at this good girl. She has a nice shelter now. She doesn't have to sit in the snow or the rain get all wet and cold and her buddy over there he kind of likes to sit outside so he sits mostly next to it